Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to calculate return on investment that is ROI for RPA or automation project. So in this graph, you can see from year zero to year five, we have the revenue and the cost and we have the break even. Before we go to this uh, graph, let's go to the actual table which shows the calculation. Here you have the revenue, the year zero, you do not have any revenue from year one, you have the revenue and revenue in the revenue we have four categories one is the manual hours so this is the actual ft reduction because of bot implementation and we have taken as 150000 for year 1 and it will be there until year 5 so total revenue for uh, uh, only for ft reduction is 750000 likewise uh, the next revenue will be uh, the error reduction so we have assumed like 20,000 every month and then we have productivity gain of 10,000 and we also have the compliance on time where if you perform the activities because of bot so you will also have some revenue so overall every year you have 1,85,000 revenue from year 1 to year 5 so overall total after 5 years you have a revenue of 9,25,000 9, now let's look into the cost cost year zero you will not have any revenue because you will be uh, still in uh, development phase uh, first cost is a bot implementation cost which is around 90,000 then you have the licensing cost which is 20,000 and then you have infrastructure cost which is 20,000 and then you have the annual maintenance cost which is 50,000 and this will remain same until year five and training cost you have 10,000 overall for year 0 190,000 is the cost and year 1 to year 5 you have only 50,000 so here is a total of the cost uh, of bot implementation and until by end of year 5 it will be 440,000 now you have the revenue and cost let's calculate the cost revenue benefit the first first year as you know in this table you can see there is no revenue it's only the cost or year zero uh, I have taken uh, 1 lakh 90 thousand here that is like uh, the benefit total revenue divided by minus total cost so in this case there is no revenue so it is 1 lakh 90 thousand so net inflow will be 1 lakh 90 thousand that is minus negative amount and year one let me show you what I have done so total revenue minus uh, total cost that's the cash inflow and net cash inflow will be whatever we have previous year 1,90,000 loss plus this year 1,35,000 revenue and it will be minus 55,000 still after year end year one we still have revenue loss of 55,000 and that's why you can see the percentage here of minus 41. When it comes to year two, the same 135000 again, uh, that is like uh, revenue minus cost. But now if you see from year two, you have the profit because uh, the 135000 the 55000 uh, minus 55000 was a loss last year. But this year again, we have 135000 revenue and the net will be 80000. And you can see the 58% is a revenue that is net cash flow divided by cash flow from here year 3 you see there is an increase in co increase in the revenue net cash flow because you have always revenue from year 3 but you have very less cost from year 3 that is only the annual maintenance and now coming back to this graph you can see we have the BEP that is break even point from the year 2 so all this whatever you can see here is a negative or the cost is more than revenue here and from here you see the revenue is more than cost so you have the benefit so also in this table you can see month on month and this is calculated for 60 months for uh, five years so beginning it is uh, one lakh ninety thousand that's the actual bought uh, cost and then you also have the uh, month on month uh, revenue so revenue is calculated by whatever the cost whatever the revenue you have like 1 lakh 85 thousand that is divided by 12 
and this is the monthly revenue and you also have the monthly cost of like um, annual maintenance that will remain same across the year for five years and end of month end what is the uh, revenue from here you can see it is in negative and it is negative until uh, month 16 from month 17 uh, you see uh, there is a profit so this is the break-even point so this is all about uh, how you calculate uh, return on investment I will you can uh, download this uh, file if you need uh, from the description below thank you